Hey there, how are you all doing? Hey, thanks for watching here. I just want to give an update on some of these small propane tanks that I recently showed. As I've shown before, uh, this is a refillable propane tank that holds 448 grams of propane. These here hold about 50 grams of propane. So 254 empty, 304 grams full, 50 grams is the net weight. So why would I have this, such a small tank for propane? And that's where this comes into use. So this is a torch that can be used with um, this propane tank. And it's very small, you know, putting this in here and turning it on, you know, just a real slow, low level here. I can turn this up and do all sorts of things with this. So in my case, this would be for sous vide. But if I want to go out and burn some weeds or, you know, take some metal and, you know, heat treat it, I could use this torch. I go through probably a few grams every minute of propane, so this wouldn't be a very long lasting propane tank. I did hook this up to a buddy heater and it lasted eight minutes. Of course, that's not what I would want to do with it, but, you know, the real use is something like this, real convenient. Uh, over here, this other propane tank is actually filled with butane and butane is a heavier molecule than propane so instead of 50 grams worth of fuel I have 65 in here so this is at uh, 320 grams when it's full I'll just take the cap off of here yeah 320 so approximately 65 grams instead of the 304 full weight it's 320 so uh, the reason for uh, butane in here, really not much other than experimentation just to see if it can be done. I plan on using this in a different device. I, I might test it on a buddy heater just to show the difference, although I wouldn't want to use butane for anything like that. This is overkill. This container is a heavy steel container versus these flimsier butane containers. And the reason why is butane gas has a liquefy, uh, it liquefies at negative one degrees Celsius versus propane over here, which liquefies at negative 42 degrees Celsius. So the vapor pressure, how strong the pressure is against this vessel is much stronger for propane than it is for butane. And the way I put butane into here was I have this uh, attachment that you can put on here like that. And then, of course, you'd have this valve turned off. And then you put the butane canister upside down and let the liquid flow into an empty tank. Okay, the main thing here is this is an empty tank. It does not have propane in it. If this tank were to have any propane in it, it would go up into the butane tank. And that can create a very dangerous situation. And these containers would burst if there were filled with propane. So don't ever do that. Otherwise you have a quite a bit of loss of life or property. These little filling containers are very useful for refilling some of these types of containers. This is a um, 230 gram butane tank. It actually has a blend, but again, I'm never gonna try to mix these up. In fact, I don't use these valves to refill these tanks. I'm not really a big believer in refilling butane. Uh, I'd rather just go with this and use it. I have the ability to hook up this connector right here to a stove that has a Lindell valve and just work with it using this butane tank. Of course, looking at the notch here, the butane tank needs to be at this position. So that it, um, it feeds butane gas and not liquid. So that's important to know. If you don't have a stove that has uh, some type of regulator on it so that it can be liquid fed, uh, you'd have to look that up for options on that. But basically this refiller is, it's interesting. Uh, I could use this, ref this connector here with propane and again, hook it up to a Lindell valve and some of the uh, stoves or lanterns that run on butane could run on propane. But again, this is more just for experimentation purposes on my end. Um, the things that I use most of the time are propane and propane is inexpensive. I can find that at a filling station and refill these things at a fraction of the cost of purchasing butane. So 
most of my items are propane based like this torch here instead of using this butane based torch on this butane cylinder here so i do have something if i ever wanted to use it for uh, torching small items like uh, maybe a, a steak or you know if i wanted to make cream brulee you could use the butane canister and the butane torch but it's better for me i just prefer to use propane because it's availability if you're in europe uh, outside north america you can refill other types of containers that you know would work with butane and they actually have refillable butane containers and propane containers but that's not the case here in north america all right anyways um, just hope this video helps Again, the only reason why I have butane in here is just for an ex you know just an experiment. Do not ever fill these up with propane. It's not a safe thing to do. Hope it work helps and uh, you know take a look at these things if you have the use for a small propane devices such as these torches. And I uh, hope you enjoy. I will have links for all this in the description. Thanks a lot. Take care. Bye bye.